does the secret cow level exist inside of Diablo 4? Well, that's a question a lot of people have been wondering with one of the side quests that you can do that's kind of a hidden or a bonus quest. There is technically another portal and there are three different altars and it requires some sort of blessing of being worthy to enter. Now, we are going to be going down a rabbit hole because it seems like it has to do with this specific area in the game where there are these oxens. And so a lot of people have been wondering, you know, what do these oxens do? It says the crumbling stones has a few discernible words spill their blood to be deemed worthy whose blood and where do we actually go so this is going to be a rabbit hole but a lot of players have been talking about well there is no cow level right you can see one of these posts over here uh and there's lots of different articles even ign was talking about it saying people are hunting for a secret cow level that doesn't exist and we actually have some confirmation that something does exist okay it's not just a crazy conspiracy theory where like people are drawing things on the map saying this is where the cow level is is because of the shape or whatever this is not just a conspiracy theory okay so the reason why i went down this rabbit hole and honestly i've been looking into this for a long time searching for every small piece of detail and i've included it in this video and i've actually found out extra side secret things and easter eggs from previous diablo games in this video so you're definitely going to want to stick around so you can either learn or think about how we're going to be accessing the cow level and there's a lot of things in this video that i was blown away by so starting right off there is some sort of fountain puzzle at this ox statue that i've been talking about which has to do with this thing over here and the cool thing with this is i'm going to need your guys's help and in fact i want you guys to comment down below any crazy suggestion that you guys have for how we can figure out how to access the cow level or some sort of a puzzle because it comes down to some puzzle this is a real thing these are files in the game true it could be a placeholder for something but there's no way they would have a fountain puzzle it's literally called fountain puzzle so it has to do something with this now is it going to be a cow level i'm not sure but there is some sort of a puzzle to it and maybe there is something related to opening up the vault which actually someone mentioned that there is a hint towards some sort of another realm here so if you've played diablo 3 you know that like the goblins there can be a portal that opens up and you can get like a massive amount of loot does that exist i'm not positive but first off i want to go over them saying that there is no kyle level okay They've been saying that the cow level doesn't exist for many, many like years. If you look at any like Diablo forums or something, because what they call the cow level inside of Diablo three is not the cow level. But we all know that there are cows in here and you can eliminate it. There's a cow queen, right? This is kind of a reference to Diablo two's cow level, but they literally call it not the cow level. They say there is no cow level. Obviously, you know, having an error called not the cow level and there's cows. I mean, it's just, you know, it's part of the Diablo memes is there's no cow level. Even in Diablo three, there was an area with ponies. Now there is some speculation because Diablo did collaborations with KFCs that it's a secret chicken level. I don't know what it is, but there is some secret puzzle to it. So let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper into this. We're going to be going down the rabbit hole on this crazy thing. That's not just a conspiracy theory. Okay. There is some cool stuff here. So it says the oxen gods stands as guardians to this sacrifice, the sacred fountain. It is said that one who presents a worthy offering cleansed in these waters may gain their blessing. And I was thinking about, like, there is technically something called Blessing of the Worthy, which is in Diablo Immortal. What does that have to do with anything? I don't know, well, because that is a gem. I don't know if it has anything to do with, like, a gem, Blessing of the Worthy, if you're wondering what does that look like. Actually, we're going to have ourselves. There is a item called the Blessing of Worthy when I find the correct tab over here. The Blessing of the Worthy is a gem. Does it have anything to do with maybe its color or something? Maybe it has nothing to do with it. That's kind of, like, the point of these crazy conspiracy theories is to look as deep as possible. I I'm not sure how we gain their blessing, but there is one answer that I think is a hint towards where it actually is going to lead us towards. So, and what the requirements are. So there are different quest items in the game that ha people have found out. So if you guys look at this, what does this look like? It looks like a blue book, right? And if you play Diablo 2, you know that there is a blue book that is the tome that you would put in normally to, of course, get to the cow level. So this is an item called the musty tome. It says the tattered leather binding of an old tome, the deep blue dye has faded with age and all the pages have been torn out. Do we need to collect some sort of pages or we have to do something to actually get this to be basically a town portal? And what about the wart's leg? And if we go to this tome over here, there was another thing called the moldy tome uh, technically in the game, right? And it's in the stony field, which acts as Tristram. Maybe this portal is to old Tristram. That could be an option. Technically, there is like Tristram in the campaign already, but this could have something to do with that. I don't know. I'm just going to throw it out there because it's a moldy, you know, tome over here. But there's also an item called the bloody wooden shard. So it says a torn bloodstained chunk of wood with tattered leather straps, the letter W has been crudely carved on one side. It's 
chunk of wood, more than likely this is part of what's called Wart's leg. Now, obviously W, Wart, that would make 100% sense that this is the two pieces of the puzzle, but where do we actually open up these portals? Where do we deem ourselves worthy? I can only assume these items need to be cleansed somehow via the waters, and then we take them in a special location. Where is that location? I have no idea. You can see it says over here, the crumbling stones has a few discernible words. Spill their blood to be deemed worthy. Now, whose blood and how do we become worthy? That's what we're all trying to figure out over here. And again, we need to gain some sort of a blessing. Now, there is something called the Blood Spiller's Helm. This was something that was mentioned in a post. I'm going to link my sources to some of these down below because honestly, I was just going down and down a crazy conspiracy theory. Now, there is a reference to, I guess, like Conan the Barbarian, which is something that someone mentioned, but it's the Blood Spiller's Helm, which would then, you know, I was thinking, okay, well, this is as Barbarian only, and I don't know if this is a Barbarian only thing, but does it matter on the class that you choose to be able to access whatever? you know, a portal. That wouldn't really make too much sense, but I think I, I'll just throw it out there. Now, some people have been trying out different methods. They've been killing cows in certain areas, and they're saying that all the cows spawn in groups by three, and there's a whole thing in Diablo in one of the trailers, which, you know, sometimes Blizzard likes to hide things in their trailers and other, like, cinematics and stuff. There's something as a reference to by three they come, and then relogging after slotting the, the, the moves will sometimes result in less than three cows spawning, so I'm not sure if it has to be killed in a certain order. If you remember in Diablo, Diablo 3, you actually have to click on a cows in a certain order, so it could have to do with slaying cows in a certain area, in a certain order, then you have to get certain items, then you have to become worthy. It could be a really crazy thing. I mean, the whole idea of Wart's Leg and a town portal opening up in town is absolutely wild already from Diablo 2, right, to access a secret level, but some secrets in video games take years to find, guys, so it may have something to do with something that is not accessible until certain conditions are met. So some people are just going around killing cows and doing certain things in certain order, but these these are at least some of the things that I found that like don't work. So at least if you're watching this video, don't try to test these things out. So there's only place in the game where there's uh, more than six cows that someone has found over here, this guy uh, Frogbound, and then slaying cows doesn't soak the character in blood, so you can't like become worthy being soaked in the blood. So it doesn't have to do with killing the cows, then going to that little fountain, that doesn't work, and the cows don't respond to emotes. So some people were actually thinking that you needed to drag the cows or any sort of monster or certain things to a certain area. There is another area that someone commented on, like some mobs don't actually fight you, they will follow you, so maybe you have to kill them on that area, but you can't, <coughs> I believe, drag monsters into the town. So there's an area where it looks like a cow's head. That's why I showed you guys in the very beginning where like this guy was like, it looks kind of like a cow head. I mean, the ears a little bit, I'd say as far as the ear goes, it's a little bit far-fetched, but like some people are like, this is a cow-shaped head. This is the area on the map that we need to access. I don't know. I just saw this and I was like, mm, that's a little bit interesting, right? But let's go further down this. And then, so people are saying over here that the rare mob uh, staring into the abyss, they don't attack the players, but they'll follow you. So the, the other theory that someone had was you had to bring these monsters to a certain area. Does that mean you have to bring it to the cows and then slay the monsters, but not the cows? I don't know. Some of these puzzles in video games, guys, like I mentioned already, they can take years to find out. There's games out there today where there's secret things that the developers put in that people still never figured out. I mean, the one in Diablo 1 where it talks about Natalie Portman in the loading screen is so absolutely wild. They talk about Aerosmith in one of the Hellfire expansions. I mean, we're talking crazy stuff. Now, there was another post over here that showed off certain waypoints. Now, one of them is actually a waypoint and they show off where the areas are located. These are broken waypoints. So perhaps you have to access these waypoints after a certain condition is met to actually be able to use them. One of them, actually this one on the bottom one is actually, I believe from Diablo 3 in an area, it's the Act 2 town, right? And you can't access the waypoint because it's like covered in dust. Now, maybe this has something to do with the portal that becomes open after a condition is met. So a lot of people are trying doing certain things and then seeing if the portal is activated at this time. Like I said, this is legitimately a giant rabbit hole. Now, there was another few interesting references that I found while just doing crazy research and just looking at what people were posting. There is a reference to Jazareth, the summoner from Diablo 2, on an item. Now, does this have anything to do with this puzzle? Maybe, I don't know. But the whole idea is they're throwing things in here. Maybe it's just lore, right? So this is the Staff of Elemental Command, which um, I believe is far, like a farmable item on like a very specific elite. So you can consistently get this item. And it says a powerful relic once belonged to Jazareth the Summoner. Now, who was this? And it says this staff was thought lost forever. So it kind of makes it sound like it's some special staff, right? Now, who's Jazareth? Well, if you played 
the previous Diablo games. Well, that is the summoner. That is the like cannon mage in Diablo one. So maybe it has to do something with the staff. I don't know. Technically, there was originally a Easter egg with a staff of hurrying, you know, that had to do with like the Whimsy Dale thing. But there's also more information on the book of Lorath. So this is like official stuff over here. Now there's a reference already. Obviously, they're hyping up, you know, the launch of Diablo. So they had this book and it says that Wirt was trampled by cattles over here. So let me go ahead and go even further into this. It says Wirt died when a rampaging herd of possessed cattle trampled him into the mud and this event imbued his wooden peg with very specific magical properties, okay? So it says, Wart's Lake is said to grant access to a demonic plane where vengeance can be visited upon a herd of cursed demonic cattle, including their infernal king. So maybe there is a reference right here to the cow king. Maybe this is a reference to Diablo 2, but it's in a more recent updated book. So there is some sort of like, you know, they, they threw it in a book, you know, sometimes again, like to hide stuff, give us hints for the future of the games and Easter eggs. Um, on top of that, there's an area Area where it says that there's three cows there's something that mentions like north south east and west and maybe if you have a full party because remember we're able to have four people in a party some people are thinking and i thought this was an interesting idea that you have to slay all these cows because they're in a very specific location at the very same time and i was thinking like there's just so many things to test out and i'm going to probably eventually test these things out specifically this one because remember i was showing you guys that there are certain waypoints that are like completely locked like they're, they're unaccessible right maybe you have to do something Thing, and then the portal will then open the waypoint will open right there is a puzzle i mean this is again at the end of the day this is kind of conspiracy theory but there is a fountain puzzle in the text right and they talk about the north the west and the south so there is some validity to what this person is posting so again this is a rabbit hole video so this was more than uh this isn't more uh like other things that people were talking about which i actually showed off but i think that i actually found something pretty interesting and someone mentioned that on the separate note that there's a treasure goblin, I guess a quest that talks about treasure goblins, that mentions that the treasure realm from D3. So this whole puzzle could just be a treasure realm. I don't know if it has anything to do with goblins, but the reference that this person is posting is, uh, someone asked for the picture of it over here, but here we go. So it was a quest that turned into Geocole at an obol vendor over here. And I guess that there is a, another thing that is mentioned here. Let's go check this out. So like I said, this is some crazy stuff. It says a treasure goblin dropped a journal belonging to Ostaff. I believe there is a vendor with that name in Geocole. I should return it to him. So maybe it has to do with this vendor. Again, so many crazy things in this video. Now I do gotta uh, warn you guys um, over here. This is actually talking about uh, some of the stuff, but I do got, gotta warn you. The next thing that I wanna talk about will cover spoilers for the campaign, um, but this won't. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you a warning before I show off something that probably has to do with the actual cow level that I've been thinking about. So starting right off, the info text on all the items over here. So there is a bloody wooden shard, which I've already talked about, which is the uh, letter W on that little like bag, right? Which is more than likely supposed Supposed to be Wart's leg. It's a, a shard of it. Are we going to have to collect shards? I don't know. And then as far as the musty tome over here, this is more likely going to be the town portal book. Like the, uh, And so both of these combined have something to do with it. And then there's a metallic fragment. So by the way, some of these, like as far as the picture goes, I believe that those are actually data mine. I don't know if, the, if no, uh, you can actually acquire those right now. But the metallic fragment is of unknown ordering, still humming with magical energies. It appears to be a part of some ancient device. Again, I'm thinking ancient, the waypoint from Diablo 2, right? Though its purpose is lost to time, this was once an object of great significance. <laughs> It's kind of vague, right? And then there is a strange key. Although it appears ordinary, you feel it has some kind of power. Who knows what this could unlock? So there's something to unlock with the puzzle, obviously with the key too. Could it be nothing? Sure. I mean, there was data mine stuff of herbs in like what Diablo 2 and we never got those because sometimes when they create games, they have all these cool things and they just either never uh, go further along than just, you know, it was an idea. They put a string of text because it was something they planned for. But the next thing I want to talk about, I will warn you guys, this does spoil like the end of Diablo 4. If you haven't played it, uh, come back to this video after you beat the game because it will go into spoilers, but it's part of this whole cow level, I think. And it goes back to the very first image that I showed you over here. So you've been warned. This is spoiler. So starting right off, there's a reference in Diablo 2 where you cannot access the cow level after you have killed. You can only access it after you've killed Bill, <laughs> right? You have to beat the game to get to the cow level. So remember if we see a return of the three prime evils in the expansions and I was like, oh, maybe. Okay. So we have to kill them and their blood would deem someone worthy. And then obviously this is where the story spoiler goes. Nabrell is on the run with Mephisto at the very end. So the ending of this game is unknown. There's more likely, I mean, the name of the game is Diablo and we don't even get to kill Diablo. 
Wow. So people are thinking that the expansion, I've heard about this theory even in Immortal 2, not like Diablo Immortal 2, because that, that's not announced. But anyways, there has to be something maybe with Nerel and Mephisto that we would then kill all the prime evils again. And then after that, we would then be able to be deemed worthy. And then we can actually access this puzzle over here. At the end of the day, this is the biggest hint that we have, and there is technically a portal. By the way, if you're wondering what this is, it's kind of like an Easter egg, like a bonus uh, mission. It's not, this does not open up the cow level, okay? Just so we're clear, but there is kind of like an Easter egg and a reference over here where we have to get all of the prime evils. So if we actually kill them, will that open up the portal? Would that deem us worthy? I don't know, but I like this idea, and I thought it was a really interesting thing to just see all of these like items that people are finding out, and especially this, like the, the musty tome and the bloody wooden shard. So I don't think that there is no cow level. I think that there is some secret for sure, but who knows what it will actually be. But if you want to test anything, and if you have any other information on this, definitely let me know in the comment section below because this is something the community will have to solve together because again, knowing how to actually access the cow level was so weird, right? It's not easy. So hopefully we'll find out very soon because the internet, well, if we all work together, things can be done very fast. But if you're new here and you do want to see the update to this, because I will follow up on it when obviously we find the cow level or any new information that gives us some sort of a new lead. I'll update you guys. So subscribe if you want to see it and I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully be in the cow level or the secret.